Hello souls, how are you? Today's reading is dedicated to a difficult love relationship. We will check what is the current situation in your uh, love relationship, how you appear in this relationship, how your partner appear, what is the, the energy of both put together and what is the possible outcome of this relationship. So let's start as usual with our five piles. We have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, pile number five. Quick reminder, there will be timestamp uh, time in the description box of this video. And don't forget to put a like. And let's start with pile number one. This is the overall energy of your relationship. Maybe you are uh, mm, into a fight. It's possible. It could be mm, possible also some uh, conflict. I won't mention third party situation for the moment because uh, the three of swords could mean third party situation. However, there uh, should be also other cards other cards that uh, are confirming this possible third party situation however for the moment the overall situation tells me that you are experiencing uh, some pain and some uh, sadness this could be also sadness for uh, something not that romantic related for example you are separated uh, due to other reasons not exactly conflict but for example, um, one of you have to travel a lot and there's this constant pain from the separation. So let's see what is your energy in this relationship, what you are putting in this relationship. So it looks like that you are uh, over, over controlling and uh, you have this feeling that uh, your partner is uh, too responsible and that you have to put everything in order, that they are not listening to you and uh, you call them out for this. But uh, this doesn't uh, seem like very equal energy from, from your side compared to theirs. Let's see how they appear in this relationship. What are they thinking about this relationship? They are constantly fighting and uh, defending uh, themselves. They believe that uh, you are acting like an old uh, man. And they just want to have uh, emotional... To feel good. They just want to feel good in this relationship. They love you and they just want to follow their emotions, listen to their inner voice and uh, you probably believe that uh, there are rules that need to be followed, that uh, 
everything uh, needs to be done on a specific manner you need to realize however that uh, your way is not always the correct way or it could be correct for you but not for other people so let's see how you when you are together what is the energy with between you so you know each other for a, from a long time this is not new relationship there's love between you and uh, what i'm noticing is that uh, maybe the things are uh, a little bit stuck i would say they are stable but uh, there's no um, there's no fresh air, I would say. Regarding the Three of Swords, uh, I would say that uh, this situation is not confirmed. So I wouldn't say that there's third party in this relationship. Mm, so it's uh, just uh, pain that is field being filled in this relationship it's not a third party involvement so you have um, probably common um, properties or uh, some financial bonding between you or you're working together there's something that uh, is in common related to finance you have also um, you are sharing also love one to each other however there's this uh, discrepancy in the roles and uh, in the perception and you have to trust this person they're uh, wise enough to be trusted So let's see how this relationship will evolve potentially in the near future. So this is another confirmation that you know each other from a long uh, period of time. This is not a new relationship, maybe it took too long. What uh, is a negative uh, influence that is impacting your relationship? The negative uh, side is that your uh, private intimate life I mean, uh, sexual life is a little bit cold. There's coldness and uh, maybe you're not being intimate lately. You have not been intimate lately. And this is not, uh, for sure, this is not something that will have good influence on your relationship. There's some coldness in this uh, in this field what is helping you maybe maybe one of you maybe you have children or one of you have children so you are ready to forgive and to be generous and uh, understand uh, that the other party is not always perfect but you love each other the love is present is there what should you do you have to show gener generosity one to another and you have to maintain your uh, also your finances in order for some reason 
there's once again this uh, maybe you have as i already said uh, some financial bondings and you have to put them in order what is the possible outcome for the moment uh, there are too many possibilities too many options and uh, scenarios that can play out so everything depends on your action for actions for the moment here is in place the free will it depends on your uh, actions and by your i mean uh, the one of your partner and your ones so that was your reading pile number one i hope it helped you somehow and we will pass to pile number two pile number two let's see what is your current difficult situation in your love relationship so the overall energy tells me that uh, most probably your relationship your love relationship is not uh, public maybe it's a secret relationship there's also second uh, way to read this card uh, and this would mean that uh, there's a big secret in your relationship but i'm pretty sure that the relationship itself is a secret one so let's see how you appear in this relationship how you manifest yourself in this relationship how you express yourself in this relationship So you appear as uh, someone who is pretty sensi sensible and at the same time pretty uh, aggressive. You easily get into fights with your partner. You get offended uh, easily and uh, or you feel that you are being offended. Even if uh, in some cases it's not like this but you believe that they are attacking you and you start fight with them and uh, how your partner appears in this relationship how they are expressing themselves so they are more uh, easy going they are not uh, that aggressive and emotional they are optimistic stable and consistent mm, but uh, there's also some distance they are not um, too emotionally involved in this relationship maybe there's some distance between you also physical distance they could be in another country but they are not that invested they're putting the effort but uh, there's some sort of a play in this like not taking it too seriously and you are aware of this And uh, let's see how the energies of you to put together look like. So with the five of swords uh, in the middle, 
there's uh, this desire to fight with each other to prove the other wrong to win every argument and to call, call out the other person for something so this is spoiling your relationship this constant fight and desire to prove yourself right and the other wrong and this is um, exactly obvious you know you are well aware of this and people around you those who are aware of your relationship could also tell you this so let's see how this relationship will evolve potentially You are uh, absolutely decided to continue with this relationship for some reason. And uh, what uh, is influencing you in a negative way is that you have a lot of uh, negative experience with this person. It could be also um, experience that each one of you had in the past with other people or it could be negative experience between you so each one of you has uh, their negative emotions and uh, memories from the past from past mistakes and past uh, wrongdoing however you have all the necessary tools to succeed if you decide to move with this relationship and to go forward with it what is helping you is that uh, both of you have some financial background you're stable you don't have to focus on your work that much you have time to pay attention to do your relationship what you have to do is uh, learn from your experience you you have enough experience to be to feel protected and to measure your next step the advice however is also to consider moving on another level for example to start living together or to separate also the word card uh, could mean also separation so if you feel that this chapter of your life has nothing else to offer you you need to move on if you feel that this chapter miss is missing some other mm, lines you have to add them but you need to take action in all the cases you need to take action and not leave the things uh, evolving uh, by themselves so that was your reading pan number two i hope you liked it if uh, and that i hope also that somehow helped you understand better this situation And we are moving to pile number three. Pile number three. let's see what is the difficult situation in your love relationship
and let's see how you appear in this relationship so the overall energy um, is that you are fighting currently it's not fight like a long fight but uh, every each one of you is uh, saying a little sharp comment is making a little sharp comment towards the other like every, each one of you is uh, telling your opinion on uh, what you believe to be wrong in uh, the other's action actions so there's criticizing and it's a little bit of jealousy between you so let's see how you express yourself in this relationship you believe that uh, this relationship had a lot of potential to build something beautiful together maybe to get married but now you think that it's over and you don't want even to consider um, going forward with this relationship you're not interested actually how the other person is Expressing themselves in this in this relationship. So they were like uh, indecisive between two options. In, in I see like uh, some ambiguity in this person they are 50 50 half of them believes that uh, the marriage is uh, something that will tie them too strong and it's not necessary and uh, there's also part in them that has maybe some family traditions that they believe in too that they have to marry that uh, marriage is uh, something necessary for the couple for the couples so there's this inner conflict and it's not even a conflict it's something that is going on uh, at the same time and uh, from time to time the, the belief that uh, the marriage is something toxic uh, necessary prevails in uh, other periods of time the belief that uh, there's something uh, there's something uh, very correct in the marriage that this is the correct thing to do prevails so let's see how the energies of you two put together appears once again there, there's constant fight so what is the difference between between you and your partner is that you feel that you have uh, invested already a lot of time and a lot of effort and you're disappointed with the results while they believe that they could potentially invest time and effort in the future so you're looking uh, in the past and they're looking in the future what could they potentially invest and you're looking what you have already invested but um, there's a fight between you and let's check what is the potential outcome of this relationship i think that currently you are not talking to each other even if you maybe you are ignoring each other 
but there's no clear communication between you maybe you talk to each other but uh, everybody says what they want to uh, say and uh, they are not listening to the other person what is uh, the negative influence is that uh, each one of you projects uh, over the other person their thoughts and their feelings and you are not seeing clearly the other person you are you have your own beliefs who they are what they are thinking what uh, they are uh, doing why they are doing it and uh, you don't have clear perception and fair judgment over the other what is helping you that is that uh, you're not afraid to speak your mind and to say what you believe that the other person is doing uh, right or wrong so you have to talk to each other and continue to do so and what you have to do is to be active maintain also your uh, intimate part of your relationship and uh, the possibilities will be there it just depends on your actions the outcome it's not clear there are a lot of possible scenarios that can play out so it's not set in stone it depends on your actions on what you will do that was your reading uh, pile number three i hope it helped you somehow to have clear picture on your relationship and let's move on to pile number four pile number four what is your situation in your difficult love relationship i see a daily struggle daily fight you're fighting um, on a energetic level it's a power struggle fighting for power uh, each one of you wants to be the strongest one to show that you are in charge and uh, each one of you doesn't want to be the passive part everybody each one of you wants to lead in this relationship so let's see how you appear in this relationship how you express yourself in this relationship so you you are broken hearted but you are like uh, it's over i don't i made my decision it's, it's it's over like you're dead already inside i have nothing more to give to this relationship so this is what you're thinking i cried enough i suffered enough i don't want to i just need to rest i don't want to suffer anymore how your partner appears in this relationship they are worried about uh, this situation they also believe that uh, as you are some sort of a family maybe you live together or you have a lot of common friends or you you are married or some you have some relationship that is uh, like a family one maybe you are married or you live together and you share also the house so they believe that uh, the situation somehow could be resolved and that you can have a fresh start and at the same time they're also worried but they are not showing it so 
so they are stressed out about this situation even though um, externally they express themselves as they are fine that everything will be great there's nothing to worry about how your energy is put together look like so there's a potential third party situation in this relationship this is the second time we have three and the three of cups is the other card that could symbolize uh, symbolize third party situation some sort of love triangle and uh, if there is third party situation you are well aware of it because the judgment card tells you that uh, everything is open and clear it's some sort of a wake-up call it, and you cannot ignore it like you cannot turn the blind eye to it and uh, maybe this third party situation is not for only from the one side it's not it's not one-sided you believe that uh, whatever you get this is what you give like uh, i received pain and i will give pain but let's see how this this situation and this relationship potentially will evolve So in the near future, I see some sort of celebration, common celebration. So maybe you too will be invited to some occasion. And uh, the negative influence in this re relationship is that there's some sort of manipulation. Everybody is trying to project something and there's some smoke and mirrors going on like uh, trying to manifest something uh, really perfect something really great but um, the reality does not correspond to this projection what is helping you in this relationship is that both of you are very patient people so you you are not uh, pushing the things for to go forward you are, you can have patient patience what you have to do is uh, be present don't stay in your mind so be present and uh, however also take your time to think about what you really want if you get some offer for example somebody is asking you to marry them ask yourself is this what i really need what i really want in my heart so you may might get an offer proposal for a marriage before accepting it ask yourself is is it this what i really want and what I really need and the outcome is very positive you can achieve your goals so if your goal is to get married you can achieve it just you just need to have patient patience if your goal is to to be free to not suffer anymore you can achieve it too this is the possible outcome for your couple it depends on the, what your goals are but uh, in all the cases you can achieve them 
so that was your reading pile number four i hope uh, this reading helped you make clear clear picture of your situation and let's see what do we have for pile number five pile number five let's see what is your difficult situation in your love relationship the overall energy is good however i see that there are, there is very good opportunity right now something unexpected maybe you get a proposal and maybe this will turn out your situation from not that positive to very good one if this is what you are wanting and desiring let's see how you are expressing yourself in this relationship well you are putting a lot of effort a lot of work you are uh, making sure that you are giving enough to the to your partner that you are paying back for the cares and you are very stable really grounded but maybe a, a little bit too practical and how your partner appears in this relationship how they express themselves wow <laughs> so you're you have a, only pentacle energies only earth energies and they have only air energies so you are more grounded uh, more practical more consistent and in uh, they are uh, more uh, focused more mental more uh, cold this is the air element so they how they are expressing themselves uh, they showed you somehow that they are ready to end this relationship for some reason they are uh, maybe they, they did that um, for some it was their inner logic they had to do that to tell you that they want to end this relationship what was the reason for this but they are very critical and uh, very a little bit cold i would say they don't express they, their feelings in this relationship so <laughs> what uh, why they did that so expect this proposal this is totally unexpected twist in this reading so how i interpret this there will be a proposal maybe a ring and they told you that they want to end this relationship as this was part of their strategy mm, their strategy was to not show any signs of what they are planning to do and they are planning to propose you so this was part of their strategy they believed that this was really smart to do okay let's see how you both put together look like like energies So this card, if you are already married, means divorce. If you are not, this means that you will get married and will sign all the needed papers. On uh, your side, you are a little bit um, more, maybe you are younger. 
even though you show yourself as somebody really involved you you are a little bit uh, taking it uh, easily not that serious i would say you like to laugh to have fun to, to go out with your friends and uh, they are cold but when they are with you they believe that uh, they have won the jackpot and they are very proud of themselves when they are with you they like uh, the way they look in other people's eyes when they are with you so let's see what is the potential outcome of this relationship in the near future development maybe now you are separated maybe you have broke up and you are alone alone right now but you have to wait and uh, look uh, from another perspective this period of uh, separation will help you uh, like uh, reevaluate this relationship and the situation so what you have to do is to express uh, your opinion and uh, what else this card also means recycling are like uh, resuscitating of uh, something cold something that you believe that is dead and what will happen in the future what is the potential outcome as the ten of swords means the end of something i would say that this is the end of uh, the the old image of your relationship so you will resuscitate this relationship but it won't be in the like it will be always the same relationship but in a completely new manner if uh, till now it was very grounded very cold so like logical strategic uh, materialistic uh, from now on it will be the, the opposite there will be a lot of emotions, a lot of uh, feelings, a lot of um, emotional expression and this is the pure love. You, you will have to leave uh, behind you all the roles you were playing till now and you have to show yourself vulnerable. So you don't have to worry, nothing wrong will happen and uh, just leave all your egos behind okay pile number five this was your reading i hope it helped you somehow have clear picture of your relationship and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye